what's up? We're here at CES 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're right outside the Westgate Hotel, and we've hooked up with Joel from AI. Now, here's the thing. They really work on autonomous vehicles, and there are a lot of people working on autonomous vehicles. From what I understand, the easy part is getting the car to go and turn. The hard part is a collision avoidance, getting it to recognize obstacles in a nanosecond, and that's where AI comes in. Joel, you guys are making a huge difference, and you use military and defense technology as the backbone of what you're doing. Yeah, so basically, if you think about the existing issues that are out there, it's all about resolution on demand. So being able to see the kid in front of you and actually identify it very, very fast is something that's very important. So being able to look at the scene and determine what to look at, because all, all objects are not created equal in the scene. The kid in front is not the same priority as the sky in back. So your technology quickly identifies objects, uh, and how does it do that? Yeah, so we have a camera and LiDAR fused together. That allows us to do some really interesting sensor fusion that is pre-fused as opposed to what's done today, which is send everything with latency and bandwidth and extra compute back to the computer, and then the computer has to then figure out what that fire hose is, and then it ends up throwing out so much of that data. And so we actually pre-process that on the sensor itself so that edge processing saves all that extra bandwidth and latency that I was talking about. This is a pretty big configuration. Is it going to always be that big? Are you going to be able to get it smaller? Or, hey, it really doesn't even matter because the car is autonomous. Yeah, so this product right here is our third generation product. Our fourth generation shrinks uh, by about 140%. And our next generation, the AE200, uh, after that, which we've announced this weekend, is something that our tier ones, uh, both Hella and LG Electronics, are working on and creating a reference platform. That's going to be able to fit in the size of your hand. Is this going to drive the price of cars drastically up, or do you guys hope to keep the cost low enough that it will be a feature that's uh, affordable? Yeah, so where you see systems today, are they're very expensive, but when you look at where sort of the consumer level car needs to be, you need to be in the $500 range in order to be uh, you know, competitive and for them to even consider that. So that's where we're looking at with our, um, you know, our follow-on products. Uh, we're not there today, but as those volumes get up, we do have a very straightforward path to get there. What are you doing with the Nerf guns? What does that demonstrate? The Nerf guns shoot these little, uh, these little yellow uh, balls, and, and what does it showcase? Yeah, so to us, the little Nerf dart demonstrates a, around a 45 mile an hour per object, a mile uh, per hour object, and that's something that when you look at a 45 mile an hour dart, it's a really small object, it's going very fast, and it's very low reflective. When you look at that, that's representative of things like two by fours in the middle of the road or motorcycles at long range. Those are the types of things that are obviously valid, not so much the Nerf dart in the sense that it's a little bit of a silly thing, but it actually demonstrates what's needed. And you've got to be flexible. How, uh, how fast will you guys, are you able to go today and how fast will you be able to go? So we've demonstrated a 100 hertz pattern with our uh, with an independent uh, consultant. As well, we've uh, demonstrated a one kilometer detect. So does that mean uh, 100 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour? You name it, Autobahn speed. Autobahn speed. Mm -hmm. Wow, and it only gets better in the future. I like that. Can you um, show, uh, actually walk us through what the, the different uh, parts of this are? And then I think there's something on the back you wanted to show us, right? Um, when you think about it, it makes your car like the bullet train, if you think of Autobahn speed. Yeah. Uh, if you're not driving and the car can do all the work, um, that seems like it, it, it's a pretty good combination. Yeah, so we've got the, you know, the camera and the LiDAR fused together. We're the only ones that do that, and that's very important to make sure that you're getting the right information right out of the bat. And so that's what uh, is in the center of the uh, field of view there. And then our receivers are on the side, and that allows us to look at our laser coming back and ensure that uh, we have very accurate um, detections. So, um, Joel, this is uh, pretty awesome. AI is the technology, and uh, hopefully we'll see it in a lot of cars in the near future. You bet it. He's Joel. I'm Michael. And you, you're terrific. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, be terrific. <laughs>